Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Marjorie in another round. And this time, again, like at the beginning of the last episode, enter the Inner Sanctum, the Inner Sanctum mission briefing. My short alliance with Klosterheim came to a quick end. I found a way into the Inner Sanctum, but Klosterheim disappeared under suspicious circumstances. Treasury, probably. Surprising, hardly. I doesn't matter anyone. It doesn't matter anyone, sorry. The secret of the murderer are more important than a fight between two inquisitors and right you are. Klosterheim, where are you? Can you hear me? Klosterheim, if you can hear me, I'm heading towards the inner sanctum. Meet me there. And again, this is a complete new map type, which I haven't seen before and again I like the style one for the case such a amazing universe and that looks so great here so Thorn, I found the body of a word bearer what are they doing on the monitor there is just one and he looks dead I was wrong he is alive <laughs> so let's quickly take him down so what was ah, I, I was a little confused there. All right, brother Semeth, bear in mind that these words are not for the uninitiated. The warpsmith finally succeeded in reshaping the code, and we gained access to the data world. This vessel had indeed been commandeered by the aberration called Yutha. The implications are sickening. Every word of the this current revelation has been proven right so far. We cannot deny the truth of the prophecy. The anathema ultima, ultima, sorry for the Latin words there, must be destroyed before it corrupts the material. Our blessed allies would be powerless against this thing. But this eight times accursed ship is defending itself. The warpsmith tells me that the spirit of the ship was indurated with a plasma plus me we souls and it is resisting our gift we are trapped but if we must guard this whole place until the dark council finds us and breaks the cage so be it i have three orders for you first break the soul pattern as the as it interferes with the sacred rituals second harvest every datum datum from what datum from the firewall cogitators since we need to know more about that thing third succumb into a dreamless slumber when finished the false gods can't take back this gifts so use them time is on our side brother all right another traitor marine lies on the ground in the field where it belongs i wish i could be fighting by your side according to the message i found there were more of them and they were trying to extricate data from three specific cogitators. The word bearers are seekers of terrible secrets. I advise you to find out what they were looking for on the martyr. Yes, that we of course will do. That was clear from the beginning. Oh, now I remember we've played Uh, as I wanted or as I tried to say before we uh, we were on this map before so I was a little bit wrong there but again absolutely amazing it looks as you see the grenade launcher can be really amazing the only I don't want I don't want to say bad part about it it fires right it takes a long time to not reload, but to take second shots. That is a tiny little bit annoying. It would be amazing if there would, would be some sorts of attributes on whether it's an armor or an item, whatever, where you could, could reduce the. More Imperium seals, but they are broken. Considering that these seals trap the essence of destroyed demons, so they can walk to the 
there would be some items where you can reduce the attack rate like it was actually in uh, Warcraft 3 and uh, not Starcraft but in World of Warcraft that would be a nice attribute where I would actually would jump into it on the second thought there I guess I told nonsense at least for heat based weapons I think that would be not very good because if you increase the attack speed or the attack rate your you are overheated faster so you should need something for cool what am i even talking about do you know that if you sometimes you are talking to someone and then you notice you are telling utter nonsense anyhow the point i would like to increase the attack rate So we are at the first cogitator. Let me take care of these guys there again. The jump pack is so amazing. And to be honest, let me keep that point. Okay, who is she? Tech priest, inload the flagged pick recording from this cogitator. This woman might be the key to Uther's secret experiments. In progress. Record is taken as alpha trials and for right research. Is she a psychic link? The antithesis of a psyker? Did Uther Tiberius test his secret weapon on someone without any presence in the war? Um, my point, which I wanted to bring there, is I have played this game so long without a story mode, with anything. There, you basically, I guess I have not experienced the end game as of yet, sorry for that. But in the end, I've been playing this game since the beginning of 2017 on a daily basis, or let's say it on nearly a daily basis. And at the beginning, of course, when I started playing this game, you didn't have any you didn't have any story mission, no campaign at all. That the game was just not in that state. And now, of course, with the full release, we've got the campaign. And the beginning when I started playing this game, it was basically just, I guess, like it is in the end game. I without the world events, take them completely out. But some sort like the world events or community events where you just grind you get from mission to mission and in the beginning of the alpha it was just like going from one mission from the star map to another or you had your investigation you had some sort of choices but in the end it was always you were just grinding and going from mission to mission so the point is what i wanted to say it feels great to finally have a purpose in the game with the missions. You really have a purpose, what you have to do. And it's connected quite nicely, in my opinion, with a even compelling story. So that is quite cool to finally have. So let's take him down. Nice. Switching and to the cogitator. Absorbing psychic energy is normal, but she's deflecting the attacks. I have never seen anything like this. Whatever she is, this would explain the interest of those traitorous maggots. It sounds like something the word bearers would want to have. I guess so too. I, in my opinion, all the. Wait a second, that looked not good. That texture just sucks, I think. 
um, that doesn't look good. So anyhow, I'm <laughs> not talking about the bad things here, but what I want to say, Perias is such a nice or Nult, Nult planks are just, I think if you go for the law for the background, such a amazing thing. The whole storyline with the flagships um, taking the... Um, on one hand, the flagships who collect the cycles and bring them to the Golden Throne, for example. But um, on the other hand, the Null Maiden, which you often see connected to the Adeptus Custodes, um, the psychic planks, which are the presence of them, as you might imagine, is not really nice to psychers. So they are basically a really good weapon. And background wise, of course, there, I would love to know. I think there was a certain number of custodies out there. I think at the before the Horus Heresy, it was, I think, said the 10,000, something like that. But those numbers have never been set for the Null Maiden. And there I would like to have numbers, although I may, of course, have overseen that. That is, of course, possible as well. But enough with the background, back to the game here. So that is, um, story-wise, again, such a nice connection. And that is something you really have to say about Neo Core games with a good day connected great to the 40k universe. Of course, they got, as I said before, so many templates um, which they can use. And still then the hard part, as I like to call it, the hard part is still to... You have so many fans who are in the 40k universe, playing the tabletop game, knowing the background history, knowing the lore, knowing how the games should supposed to look like. So I think it is even... M it could be more difficult to satisfy, to satisfy those guys with a game which looks like the tabletop game they love. Um, so that is, I think, something new core games. I love the, I love 40k. So I am pleased and appealed with the optics of the game. So for me, they did a really goddamn good job out there. All right, we of course go for the chest again, taking the chemical fragments. I think they were with us. So for. The shorter episodes we had before, the last two episodes, I think were a little shorter than the usual ones. We now have a longer episode and um, for that, that's quite cool. Alright, so here we might be a little bit in trouble, but I don't think too, too much. The first two wall bearer, no. Ah, these are new ones, aren't they? At least I hope that. So there you see the little, little downside in... No, it actually does 200 damage, so it's not too bad. Then let's put the damage into the enemies there. I always thought that's always what you have to do, use the weapons, even if you do not like them. Use them for a couple of minutes and then you realize, well, they are not as bad against certain types of enemies as you thought before. Like I thought with the grenade launcher, that it would absolutely suck against those armor targets, but it's not bad against it. It's not as good as a plasma gun or pistol, but it just works out. And bonus thing, you have AOE at your disposal, which is quite nice. Okay, we go for the chest and hope for no traps and then we go for the last cogitator there. So lucky us, lucky us, lucky us. 
All right, again, a invalid data stream, brothers and sisters. The day of reckoning is upon us. We can't hide any longer behind our oath, duty or honor. As of today, the Betterfleet Caligari High Command is aware of the location of the murder. The implications are severe, but don't forget, with the fall of God Vandir, our once veteran Yutha has lost his last ally in the Imperium. Our pursuers are numerous, the disgraced Stormwatchers, the Imperial Navy, the newly founded, founded Order Hereticus and the Monstrosius of the Materian. We can't fight any longer at la a lost war for a lost cause. Th these are my orders. Group Alpha respectfully eliminate our once beloved master in his meditation chamber and crush the inner cycle. Circle, sorry. You already know the names of those who must fall. Group better, with the help of number 67, neutralize the Mechanicus forces on the main engine deck and override the controls. We must keep the Maru in wheel space, whatever it takes. Know this, success brings redemption for us all. We contacted, we contacted one of the newly appointed High Lords and he has offered sanctuary and pardon. If we surrender the murder and Ether's secrets, Ah, okay, if we surrender. Okay, sorry. It's our last chance. Act accordingly. The Emperor protects. Well... Tech Priest, I have no new records to send you. I have discovered that even Uther's people found that strange test subject extremely disturbing. Tidal absence of information in the accessible data looms on the Martyr. The existence of the subject has been raised from the archives. Whatever this creature is, she must have been Uther's greatest secret. I must find out more. I analyze the previous inloads. The binary illuminations in tape recordings contain the encrypted coordinates where the subject was held during the tests. Tell me. Decryption complete. The location of the inner sanctum is at your disposal. Perfect. Alright. Mission done. Mission complete. Nice. We are going to take a look at our equipment right now the good part is that was again a nice mission something new and i think in this game is quite a lot of diversity always with rpgs out there um, you have certain things which are redundant and that is um, just a concept of the um, game but i think it is something fresh with this game so of course, next episode, we are not going to go after the Viper's Nest, which we still will do, don't worry, but we will go on with the secret weapon, search the scriptorium. And as we always do, at the end of an episode, we go through the items received. Um, Purity Seal is a nice upgrade, take it. A nice little bolt pistol, a Signum, which I'll take as well. That should be an upgrade as well, yes. 27, that was 27. The new implant was old. Um, I guess now 20, no. So nothing new here. Um, I know we found this armor, which is a nice little upgrade, although it reduces our power reduction. Um, damage reduction, I of course meant power reduction would of course be absolutely nonsense and here we gain a little bit of health regeneration a melda gun and that is something we are going to try out of course and in the end guys brings us that to the end of this episode as usual it is nice that wow wait a second doesn't this armor looks absolutely amazing I love it, I love it, I love it so much. Um, let's take a look in a wheel game. Oh man, that looks nice. And the helmet. Oh man, that looks really nice. And that is what we would look like with a weapon. Really nice. And now like, um, like I wanted to say Inquisitor Eisenhorn, <laughs> Klosterheim. We have the nice little Inquisitorial thing up there. Anyhow, guys, next episode we will, of course, go on with the investigation for now i really thank you for watching if you have actually enjoyed this episode guys then why don't you give me a thumbs up wait a second wait a second is this a brain and the eyes that looks quite cool 
Oh man, that looks absolutely amazing. Anyhow, going to the end of this episode. As usual, I really thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this episode, guys, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will hopefully see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.